YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. Today, I got a hair transformation for y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to fill in the gaps on this thing. You know what I'm saying? We got to fix this hair, make it right, make it look good, bring this boy back to life. Now, look, I want y'all to see what I'm working with, right? Look at these edges. There's nothing there. Look. This is what a line is supposed to be. So to combat all of that, what you want to do or what I like to do is do a light line up first. That way, I can kind of see where everything going to sit. Plus, it gives me a head start on the lineup, so I'm not pushing. I'm not cutting too much hair off, or, and I'm not going to push this line up back because it's too light and you can't see it, things like that. So you already see how what I'm doing can be effective, right? Because now I got my line up, and now all I have to do from here after I get my line is just try to match everything up. So basically, we have the same thing on this side. So look, what I want to do, I want to take my trimmer, pull it, try to make a line wherever I can see a light piece of hair just so I can create that line, right? We want everything to grow out as much as possible, as far out as possible. We don't want to push back into where it's bulky or dark at, right? We just want to follow the guidelines. That's it. And then once we get that set, we're going to take the bulk off of the top. So now we're going to take our one and a half guard, right? I feel like a one and a half because his light spots, I wanted to blend in right with those light spots. So you see, boom. Once I use the one and a half, it's pretty much even with the light spots. Now, granted, you're going to have to go back and try to make it blend in perfectly but i knew that the one and a half would would get me to the closest starting point to where i need to be as far as thickness on top right so that's just me knowing and cutting hair for so many years which length to use on top in order to get everything to blend also once you do that you can come back with that same one and a half guard you can close the lever, open the lever, um, and try to make everything become very smooth, right? Because we, we don't want it to roll up. We want it to be smooth. So I go against the grain to achieve this look also in certain places. Now, what we want to do now is get ready to start our taper. So what the first thing I want to do is make like a half circle, right? So we're making a half circle. We want to keep it kind of low burst light taper right that's what we want to give him that's the look that he likes and he kind of he like to keep his curve or the c cut whatever you want to call it he like to keep that intact also so once i do that once i create that first like half circle guideline then i want to come back and start blending i grab my one guard i close my lever I use the corner of my blade, right? I stretch the skin with my thumb at the top. You see what I'm doing? So I'm always using both of my hands, right? And I'm using the corner because I, I don't want to make another guideline. I want to fade the taper from here. So I'm just picking my spots, really. I'm looking at what's dark. I'm combing the hair down, making sure everything is laying down, and I'm just picking my, spot, my spots. So after I use my one guard, I can either go to my zero guard, I can do a half guard, or I can do a no guard because it's already light. But I do take that one guard and come down with the grain, right? Just to smooth it out a little bit more. So I chose to go with no guard because it was already low. So I'm doing the same thing. I take no guard, lever all the way open, corner of the blade, take my time remove that guideline that first half circle guideline that we had that's the first that's what we're doing right now we're just trying to remove that and then everything should start coming into place then you see how that guideline is is gone already so 
now I can focus on once I get the guideline gone. Oh, okay, how can I smooth this out to be just better than what it was? You know what I mean? So once we're done with that, then we can start to get ready to like put other factors in place. So I can come and I can start like my lineup on this side. I can kind of see what's going on. So I'm starting from the middle and I'm just working my way over. Yeah, I'm only doing uh, one side of the head, showing you mainly one side of the head because if you can learn this side really well, then you're obviously gonna do the other side the same. It's the exact same steps, nothing any different, right? We take his beard, I pull up, you see how my I'm pulling the tripper, I mean I'm pulling the trimmer like towards the inside of his face when I'm pulling up because if you push down, then you're gonna push the beard down, right? That's key. You're keeping it natural. He still got a, a sharp line up here. Even even though uh, we not we didn't use any enhancements or nothing, this is just a natural lineup. And this is how he like it. He don't like his beard to connect either, like mustache to beard. So I'll be cutting that part off also. Also, while I have a trimmer in my hand, I can trim his beard too. So these are the things. This is my approach to the transformation. Like, how can I make this transformation look? that much better right like how can i get his haircut to go from you know 50 to 100 you know what i mean so that's the goal when we doing the transformation it's like doing a remix on a on a, a song you better make sure that remix if you're gonna do a remix to that song you better make sure that remix on fire before you do it you know what i'm saying so that's the the same approach steps that I take towards uh, a haircut transformation, right? So look, I'm still keeping everything together. Look, we got that. Boom. The lineup is, is popping. Natural line, but we're going to put enhancements on them, but this is the natural line. Look at that. Tell, the, tell me these, these flex don't be flexing. I'm flexing with the flex. You feel me? And just to show y'all a little bit of the other side, this is the other side. I did the exact same thing. I don't want to make a super long video for you all. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just at the beard part. And just to show you the same steps I'm doing with the beard. You know, I'm pulling away. I'm lining. I'm being careful. I'm keeping, uh, keeping it as natural as possible. Now, when we get to this part, all we want to do is... I got the natural line up, so now I want to use color to stain the skin, right? We're going to use color to stain the skin. We want to get a little bit darker so we can make this line up stand out, right? Boom, we spray. We use a good color. You can use Kiss Expressions. You can use uh, Beijing Semi-Permanent. I use a Semi-Permanent right and i try to focus um you know i made my my lineup first and i try to focus on putting the color exactly on the natural lineup that i made because when it goes away all they have is their natural lineup so you, you don't want to compromise that too much you see where i'm putting the card this is where i put his natural line and I don't have to use the color to make a line, right? It's a difference. Once you put the line first and then the color, then you made the line, you know, yourself with your tools. But if you put color first and then make a line, you made that with color, right? So it's a difference. Now, you want to come with the hair fiber. Check this hair fiber out. So the hair fiber now, this is building hair, right? This is matching what he has. And you don't need a lot. You can use a little. You see how shiny it was before I'm putting the hair fiber? The hair fiber helps cover up that shine, right, from the color that, that we've been using, right? 
Look at that. Boom. This is the foundation was what I did with my trimmer. Lining him up first before I even started the haircut good. All that to get to this point. Now all I have to do is come in, hit it with my liners, and boom, that thing gonna be super crispy, right? So look, look what I'm doing. Making it super crisp. We cutting it. We just getting it, getting that boy five crispy line up. But I probably wouldn't have been able to do it this way if I didn't start the haircut the way I started it, right? Very important on how you start the haircut, right? Look how sharp that is. Look how clean that is, right? Come in, hit the vertical bars. Once we're done with that, then we come back and we do the same thing on the other side to match everything up. Same thing on this side. Now, boom, we're doing it. Line is already there, like I said. Come back, we're going to use the hair fiber to build it, to make it darker, to make everything look even. Now, if you ever put too much hair fiber on at one point, because it's possible for you to do that every time, it's not going to be perfect. But what you can do is you can take a comb, like a wide part of a, of a small comb, and kind of blend it in like I got too much hair, uh, hair fiber right there. I can just take my comb and I can just brush it in, comb it in, fade it in, however you want to use it. But now it's smoothed out. Now everything is good. I can go back to finishing up my lineup. My guy looking totally different than, than when we started, right? So, look, you can do this haircut. It takes a little time. It takes a little practice, but you can do it. You can get it done. Look at that crispy lineup all day, every day. They don't call me Mr. Outliner for no reason. I guess y'all know this already, though. You know what I'm saying? Tell your favorite barber, favorite barber, to holler at me. I got the lineup challenge on lock if somebody want to do something. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease.